The Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court gave March 13th as the end date for the impeachment trial of President Bakane, citing concerns about disruptions due to upcoming vacancies on the bench. The move is expected to have a considerable impact on the complexion of the presidential election. Our Kim ji yeon starts us off. Constitutional Court Chief Justice Park Han Chol said Wednesday the impeachment trial should end by March 13th to coincide with the end of Justice Lee jung mis term. He said the opinions of each of the nine justices are significant and bringing in a new justice could have a negative impact on the trial outcome. On top of that, this is to be Chief Justice Park's last trial as his term ends this month. This is the first time the Constitutional Court has ever mentioned an end date for the trial, and its conclusion will have an impact on the next presidential election. If the court upholds the parliamentary impeachment motion against President Park, the country must elect another leader within 60 days by law, so the election could take place at the end of April or in early May. If the court rejects impeachment, President Park will return to her duties, and the next presidential election would take place in December as scheduled. In response, the president's lawyer said the timeline could put the court at risk of overlooking crucial facts and arguments and suggested the court may be colluding with parliament. We were shocked by Chief Justice Park's remarks and can't help but question the court's impartiality. The National Assembly's impeachment panel denied the accusation, saying it's part of the opposing counsel's tactics to stall the verdict, along with their request to summon 39 more witnesses unrelated to the impeachment motion. We formally asked the court for a prompt decision, as without a leader, the country is facing many uncertainties on the economic and security fronts. During the morning session, former culture minister Yu Jin Yong testified to the existence of a blacklist of artists deemed critical of the government and said he was ordered by the presidential office to exclude those on the list from government funding or sponsorship. He said people who didn't follow the orders, including him, were removed from their posts. Yu also testified that he saw President Buck with a list of names she wrote in her notebook, marked as, quote, bad people, and angrily ordered him to remove two of the people from their post. Ko Young Tae, Choi Soon Shih's close associate and the former head of the Blue K, a paper company allegedly set up by Che, failed to show up for the ninth hearing, but the court rescheduled his testimony for February 9th. Kim Jian, Arirang News.